Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can recover deleted files from your Windows or Mac PC. Now, this could be files you lost from your PC or from any other storage devices such as USB sticks, external hard disks, SSDs, SD cards for cameras, micro SD cards for phones, or just about any other storage media. Now, when we talk about losing files or data from a storage device, there are different levels to it. The most basic form is having the files move to the recycle bin, in which case you can easily go to the recycle bin to restore such files. And then you have the more complex scenarios where such files are no longer in the recycle bin. Uh, generally, we say that such files have been permanently deleted. In such situations, you will require a bit more effort to recover those files. Now it could even be more complex, it could be that after deleting such files, you've gone ahead to format your storage device. It could even be that after deleting and formatting your storage device, you have already copied other files or data to it and possibly you've repeated this cycle multiple times already on the same storage device. So the question is, at what levels are your files and data still recoverable and at what levels are they completely irrecoverable? These are the questions we'll be addressing in this video together with other suggestions and tools that can help you at different stages of data loss. And now without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so before we start trying to recover files from different data loss scenarios, here are some key points to bear in mind. First, when files are deleted from an external hard disk or SSDs, by default such files are moved to the recycle bin and will remain there even after you've unplugged the hard disk or SSD from your PC. It doesn't matter if you have restarted your computer several times already. Second, when you unplug your hard disk or SSD from your PC after deleting your files, the deleted files will disappear from the recycle bin, but whenever you plug back such hard disk or SSD and refresh your recycle bin, the deleted files will appear again. Third, deleted files can only be recovered from the recycled bins of the PCs where they were deleted from. So if you have deleted files from your external hard disk across different PCs, then each time you attach it to a particular PC, only the files deleted while using your disk on that particular PC will be made visible in the recycled bin. Finally, none of the three points above applies to other storage devices like USB sticks, SD cards, and micro SD cards. For such devices, as soon as you delete files from them, those files are permanently deleted without being moved to the recycled bin. With that said, let's now go ahead and see to what levels are deleted files recoverable. Let's start with the case of permanently deleted files, and by permanently deleted, I mean that these files are no longer in the recycled bin. For such situations, you will need a third-party data recovery software to be able to get back your files. Now, there are hundreds of such data recovery applications out there. You might have tried some yourself already. Here, I'll be using the Disk Drill Data Recovery software from Clever Files. I've been experimenting with this software for over a month now, trying it out in different data loss scenarios, both for myself and for my clients. And I can tell you right off the bat that the performance has been incredible to say the least. I will try to demonstrate some of the scenarios where I've used this application in the past just to show how far it can go in recovering your data. Now that this drill data recovery software has both the Windows and Mac OS versions, the free edition would be a good place to start if you are trying it out for the first time or if you want to see what you can possibly recover before upgrading to a premium edition. It offers you a good number of features that already gets you on track to recovering your data. You are able to preview the recoverable files, you can create backups for failing disks, and you can also apply data protection to your disks. However, the free version is limited to only 500 MB of actual file recovery. So if your intended files are larger than 500 MB and you can see them in the preview, then you can go ahead and upgrade to the Pro version to be able to recover these files. They also have the Enterprise Edition if you want to run this solution for an entire company. Now when we go down the page a bit, you will see a number of discount opportunities. You can check out and see if you are eligible for any of those. In addition, Clever Files is offering you, the viewers, a 10% discount on any of the premium licenses you choose to purchase. I will leave the promo code for the 10% discount down in the video description. Another interesting offer you will find on the website is this time-limited 2 for 1 deal. With this offer, you are able to get a free Mac version of the software if you buy the Windows version and vice versa. So you could split cost if you have a friend who needs the Mac version of the software. The installation process for this drill is purely typical. You can simply click on the download button under the free edition or click on the free download button from the home page. Either way, that should have the installation files downloaded. After downloading, simply run by double clicking. 
air heat install and then wait for the setup process to complete. It's a very lightweight application, so the installation takes just a few seconds. Once it says installation successfully completed, you can click on the launch button to open up the application. It's really that simple. As you can see, the user interface is really simplified and neat. You have the data recovery page as the default page. To the right, you have the currently attached disks and storage devices. You can use the drop down to reveal all the partitions each disk has. And then by clicking on the three dots to the right of each disk, you will see the different operations you can perform on it. Underneath the data recovery option, you have the data protection and drive backup options. You will also find any recent activities you have performed under the recent session section. At the top right corner, you have these three dots. Clicking on them would reveal some additional operations you can perform using the application. Now for the purpose of this demo, I collected some sample files to use to test different data loss scenarios. I have this demo file stored in my USB flash drive. Here I have PDF, PNGs, MP3s, MS-Doc, MP4 and JPEG files. For the most part, these are all small files, some kilobytes and some tens of megabytes, except this video file which is about 1.2 gigabytes. Now I will go ahead and delete all these files and then try to recover them using disk drill. For now, I'm using the free edition of this drill just to show how much you can get from that. So here I will click on the three dots next to the USB flash drive I want to recover files from and select search for lost data. Now that should immediately start the disk scanning process. As you can see here, it updates you in real time the number of files found and it separates them in these different categories. Below the page here, you will also find the estimated time left for the process to complete. This would of course depend on the number of blocks or the capacity of the disk to be scanned. I will fast forward this part of the video. After the scanning, you now have all these recoverable files arranged in these different categories. From here, you can go ahead to preview the recovered files. Now, one thing you might have noticed here already, we had nine files in the USB stick before deleting everything from the drive. But after the scanning, it discovered over a thousand files in these different categories. Now, that gives you an idea of how deep this application is able to go to recover your lost or deleted data. So, say I was looking for a video file I mistakenly deleted. I will just go to the video category. Keep expanding the folders till I get the actual video files. From here, I can click on the video files and on this right side of the window, I will see an actual preview of the video clips. So here, as you can see, the video clip is playing on lower resolution. Now you can pop it out to preview it on a full screen and you can check it through as it previews. Now, if this is the file I want to recover, I will simply check the box next to it. Of course, you can select multiple files and then click on the recover button down the window to begin the recovery process. Here, as you can see, even the one gigabyte video file is listed in the preview, even though I'm using the free version of the application. So you can use the free version to reveal all recoverable files. And if your needed files are more than 500 megabytes in size, then it will prompt you to upgrade to one of the premium editions to be able to completely recover those files. Now I'll go ahead and upgrade to the Pro Edition. To do that, just click on the three dots at the top right corner of the screen. Then select License and Activation from the options. If you haven't got a license yet, you can click on the Upgrade Now button and that will take you to the page where you can obtain your license. Remember to use the promo code in the description for a 10% discount. Here I'll enter my activation code and proceed with the activation. With that done, I'm now able to access the full features of this application. So back to the preview, here now I will be able to recover any number of files I want irrespective of the sizes. So I select the intended files and hit recover. Next it asks for the destination where I want to save the recovered files. Now here it's highly recommended that you select a destination that is different from the source disk. So it shouldn't be the same disk you are trying to recover files from. For this I will just keep them on the desktop and hit OK. Now it immediately starts the recovery process. Obviously the time required will depend on the size of the files, but generally speaking, the recovery process for disk drill is really fast. After the recovery, when I go to my desktop, I will find a folder named found files or reconstructed if you are using the free version. And in this folder, I will find all the recovered files bearing the same names they had before they were deleted. From this basic scenario, I decided to try some more complex situations. 
So with the first set of files still deleted, I copied the second set of files to the disk and also deleted them. And then I run the recovery process to see what I can recover. After the scanning, I checked through the folders and discovered that all the files from the second set of files were in the preview. However, not all the files from the first set of files were in the preview. For instance, the intro clip wasn't in the preview. However, the logo file was in the picture folder. From here, you begin to get the logic. So unless the specific locations of the deleted files have been overridden by new files, the files can still be recovered using this software. So the files that couldn't be recovered from the initial set of files are those whose locations have been overridden by the new set of files. So I got more curious and decided to take things to the next level. And now the question is, what happens when the disk has been formatted? So next I tried performing a quick format on the disk after deleting the files and then try to recover them again. Here, as you can see, once again, all the deleted files were recovered. Now, yet again, I decided to try with my favorite formatting tool, that's disk part. I run the normal clean command on the disk and then try to recover the data once again. And surprisingly, after a deep scan, all the files were recovered. Now there are several other data loss scenarios that this application still managed to recover the lost files from. I wouldn't be able to cover them all in this video as the video is already getting too long. From the scenarios we've seen so far, you already get the idea. In fact, you can even use this tool in situations where your PC is so corrupt that it won't boot up at all or it keeps running into errors and different Windows repair techniques won't fix it. In such situations, you can simply remove the hard disk from the PC, attach it to another laptop using a SATA adapter connector, and then scan the disk to recover your files. Now aside data recovery, there are several other awesome features of the disk drill that I can't cover in this video. But like I said earlier, the layout is very user friendly and intuitive. So you can play around with all these other features and see what they can do for you. You will find the link for further details down in the video description. There you will also find the promo code for the 10% discount if you choose to go for any of the premium editions. And that is it for this tutorial. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Share with anyone you think might want to see. Drop us a comment if you have any questions or feedbacks. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.